It's something so important to me. Um, it's more of a ceremonial thing right into before battle. I mean, we have, um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to have my people drum out live, so I had a recording. Um, it's, it's just a ceremony before battle. I mean, this is my war cry. This is how I pray for my people, spread good medicine, and kind of just, you know, get ready to have some fun in there. Did you and Cecilia talk afterwards? Backstage? Not yet. I do want to talk because we just what made history. Yo, no, man, we just made history. Now, what's up? Now, let's talk about three match. <laughs> <laughs> now, I mean, it's all love. I mean, for women's boxing, especially how, how much we're not showcased that we work, we got to keep it's, it's all war in the ring, but outside the ring, we're professionals. You know what I mean? We're all doing this for the same reason. We all want the same for women's boxing. So, it's all love, man. In that ring, we are arch enemies outside. It's all okay. Did you see Triple G's knockout? I didn't. I was in the back. I was upset. I have to, like, go back home and watch it. <laughs> What changed in the second half of the fight when you dropped it? What changed in that second half? Well, I realized that I'm, so, you know, I figured her out. You know what I mean? It was first couple of rounds, especially this caliber, this kind of kind of fight. It was a big deal. You know what I mean? And uh, I kept my composure as much as I could, and it was just kind of figuring her, figuring her out. Once I figured her out, and I figured I'm supposed to be here, I can do this. You know what I mean? I turned it up, and it was just go, go ahead, gung ho, right there. I kind of. Waited a little bit too long. Maybe I was waiting for her to do something else other than what she did in the first couple of rounds. But once I realized that and turned it up, you know, I, I got I got my my rhythm. During, during. Power. Power. I mean, she got a little pop, but I mean, I'm used to getting hit by middleweights, so I mean, she got a little pop, but I think I got a little bit more pop. During the fight, did, did it feel like you were in there with one, the, the best fighter in the world, pound for pound? It was a, I mean, no disrespect to her, but it was another fighter, you know what I mean? I can't look at her as pound for pound, oh my God, because that would have really messed me up. It's just another day at the office, you know what I mean? And no disrespect to her, but she was just another fighter to me, you know what I mean? So, but she's 32 and 0 for a reason, you know? She's pound for pound the best. I'm the first to knock her down, so we're the first on HBO, so it was just a really, really good night overall. How would you compare her to, to earlier fights? Uh, as far as like style or oh the, how good it was she... it was fun i mean it was fun like i told you guys before we got to bring the best out of each other and i really believe that was so i believe that we put on a great performance and um she was kind of what i expected but like i said i kind of waited a little bit too much in the first couple rounds maybe to see what else she had and i realized that that was it and i kind of turned it up from there so i mean no no discredit to her I mean, she's a good fighter i'm sure you were asked this earlier but but how does it feel to be on hbo's first you know female world title fight female fight period you know? it hasn't settled in yet <laughs> the first knockdown i know i mean the first knockdown i mean i could jump for joy but a that jeopardy was... question one day it <laughs> is i mean somebody else said that the other day <laughs> I mean, it's awesome i mean i was the first time knock down Hammer, the first to knock down Loren, I'm the first down to knock down Breakers, something got to be right, you know? So, yeah, I'll be back, definitely.